My family and food is my passion and shopping for the very best fresh ingredients is what makes all the difference. Join me as we go on a journey of heartwarming food filled with mouth-watering dishes bound to get those taste buds tingling. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Simple Stylish Meals with me, Sharon. Today I've invited some friends over for a casual party and on the menu are some healthy treats. We'll be making a pomegranate and cranberry salad, a grilled watermelon and feta salad, some seared salmon with soba noodles and finally a beautiful tropical fruit salad. Let's get started with our pomegranate and cranberry salad. For the dressing, white balsamic vinegar and classic olive oil, some balsamic glaze, fresh orange juice, we'll put in some orange rind and some Dijon mustard. And then beautiful ingredients, avocado, pomegranates, cranberries, whole roasted almonds, some beautiful lettuce, dates and Danish feta. So let's get started with the dressing. We're gonna use our classic olive oil about a half a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar. The reason I like the white, it's not as strong as the dark one, and it gives me a very nice, gentle, subtle flavor. Then I've got some balsamic glaze. Now balsamic glaze is reduced balsamic vinegar with sugar added. So as you can see, it's a thick balsamic glaze, but it can be bought in the stores. We've got some orange juice and I need about a third of a cup. Some Dijon mustard and that just gives me a nice creamy taste and some salt and pepper. So I'm getting a sweetness from the balsamic glaze. For the orange rind we want to use our microplane and we need about two tablespoons of orange rind and we want to whisk that. Let's taste. It's absolutely perfect. Lovely orange fragrance coming through. The sweetness of the balsamic glaze, delicious. To segment the orange, we want to take the top and bottom off. It's best to have an even surface so that the orange doesn't roll around. Then simply take your knife and cut down, removing all the pith. So you want only orange exposed and you're kind of doing it in a semi-circle movement with a really nice sharp knife. Make sure you take off all the white. We want to go between the white of the orange to get out complete segments. So you need to go in with a very sharp knife at an angle and you're going just between the white at an angle pulling out just the segment of orange. So I don't want any of that cartilage that's inside the orange. And now we're ready to assemble the salad. So it's as simple as that. The lettuce is a mixture of fresh, beautiful baby lettuce leaves. So we've got some cranberries, which we're just going to scatter around. And the whole thing with the salad, it's fresh, it's casual, and it's very vibrant in color. We need some avo. And the avo will just cut into nice strips. This is the kind of food that I most enjoy. I'm a salad person, besides being a dessert person. So any kind of salad that's got unusual ingredients or something different, for me, makes the day a little bit different. And when I'm entertaining, I try and think of different things that I can serve my friends. Our oranges. And whatever's in season, you can use. 
I've roasted these almonds and they blanched almonds on a baking tray, 140 degrees, about 10 minutes. They give you a lovely crunch to the salad. And they're very good for you, eaten raw without the salt. Some beautiful soft dates. Scatter that over. And then some Danish feta, which is completely optional. And now the best for last. Pomegranates. So healthy. So pretty. They're like little pearls. Now we're ready to dress it. I would only dress this just before you serve it so that your lettuce doesn't go soggy. And a drizzle, not too much, remember? Just a little drizzle. And it should drip through all the lettuce to the bottom of the platter. And I love finishing it off with a grind of pepper. And there you have it, a delicious pomegranate and cranberry salad, perfect for my casual party with friends. Next up, I'll be making a seared salmon with soba noodles and later on a grilled watermelon and feta salad, finishing off with a beautiful tropical fruit salad. If you like this recipe, don't forget you can get it on the Home Channel website. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Today we are showing you how simple it is to make stylish food for casual entertaining with friends. We've already made a cranberry and pomegranate salad and now we move to the main part of the dish, the seared salmon with soba noodles. Later we'll be making a grilled watermelon and feta salad and finishing with a tropical fruit salad. Let's get started with our seared salmon. Our ingredients are black rice noodles for soba noodles, some avocado, sesame seeds, asparagus, snow peas and mange too, some rice vinegar, soya sauce, ginger and honey, and of course the salmon, and olive oil for our marinade. So we're going to start with our noodles. I have a pot of water boiling. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the water, and then we're going to boil the noodles and rinse them with cold water, because this is served as almost like a cold salad. And they take about four to five minutes. So let's keep an eye on them. While they're cooking, the pan is getting hot and I'm going to rub a little bit of olive oil over the salmon. We don't want to put oil in the pan, we want the oil on the salmon so that it really seals it when it goes into the pan. Salt and pepper. And you don't want to turn it until it's completely sealed on the one side. I'm going to cut the asparagus a little bit smaller so they're kind of like tips. And my pan feels very, very hot and it's ready for the salmon. So we'll put it in on this side. Then season this side. Check our noodles. I think they're ready. Perfect. So we need to drain them but I want to keep the water because I'm going to do my vegetables in the same water. So we'll pull them out. What? I've drained my noodles. My fish looks like it's ready to turn. Very gently we're going to turn it. There we go. And now we'll just cook the other side and put our vegetables into the same water for about two to three minutes. So the sauce is rice vinegar, some honey, about a tablespoon of soya sauce, in fact I'm going to do two. I need the olive oil, also about two tablespoons. and I'm using a nice fruity olive oil because my noodles are quite hearty and heavy. And then we want some grated 
fresh ginger. Let's just get that mixed in so that the honey doesn't sit at the bottom of the dish. We add some salt and pepper. Not too much salt because the soy is quite salty. And let's taste it. I'm sure it's perfect. It's delicious. It's got lots of beautiful flavours. And I'm sure the vegetables are ready. They're perfect. Let's take them out and put them in some ice water. As soon as they're cold, we're going to dry them in a cloth. Just dry them. So the test of the salmon is when you pierce it and the fork goes straight through then you know that it's done. If it's a little bit resistant, it's a little bit underdone in the middle. And I'm not too worried about that because salmon should be slightly underdone because it continues to cook while it's sitting on a plate. So let's just check. I think it's got maybe one minute to go. We'll put the noodles on the platter. Give them a good shake. They look fantastic because you're going to get a beautiful contrast of colours. Just a few more on there. My salmon's done, so I'm going to take it out the pan and let it rest for a few minutes while we prepare the rest. And you can see this little bit of white protein that's come out of the salmon, and that's also an indication that it's ready cooked. So we'll rest it for just a few minutes. I'm going to spoon the sauce over my noodles. Our vegetables are dry, they're gorgeous, pretty, give you lots of colour. I think that's enough. A little bit of avo. We're just cutting our salmon into big flakes. It's perfectly done, so it flakes quite easily. And you want to make it quite wholesome because this is really a main part of your dish get beautiful colours with the pink and the black and the green. A little bit of sesame seeds, just sprinkled over there. And the fish is still warm, which is so nice because you get a contrast of the cold noodles, the warm fish, the crunch in the vegetables. And to finish it off, a little spoonful of this amazing, fragrant, beautiful sauce. And there you have it, the star of the casual party, the salmon and soba noodle salad. We're almost ready to start the party. Our pomegranate and cranberry salad is in the fridge chilling. Our seared salmon and soba noodles are ready. And when we come back, we'll play with some fruit, a grilled watermelon and feta salad, followed by a tropical fruit salad. Remember, if you like these recipes, you can get them on the Home Channel website. Socialising and entertaining should never be a stressful occasion and today we're showing you some delicious dishes for a casual party. It's about keeping it simple, stylish and fresh. So we've already made a cranberry and pomegranate salad, our salmon with soba noodles is ready and now we're doing a spin on fruit, a grilled watermelon salad with some Danish feta and rocket. It's simple and delicious and that's exactly all the ingredients. I've got a pan on. It needs to be super, super hot. So let's put some watermelon in. Now the sugar in the watermelon will start caramelizing on the pan and that's what's going to give me those beautiful lines. Now Danish feta is creamy and quite delicious and extra rich, but it's perfect for this dish. So instead of cutting it into cubes, I'm going to slice it so that it matches the slices of the feta. And you want to do 
quite thin slices because here it's about contrast of tastes, the sweetness and juiciness of that watermelon compared to the saltiness of the feta. We need to turn it straight away. And as you can see, it's already got those beautiful lines. Rocket, however, is peppery. So we've got a very nice contrast of flavors. And I like to use wild rocket here because the wild rocket is a little bit smaller, got a little bit more character to it. Watermelon's ready. And I'm going to intersperse the feta between the watermelon. Now you want to let this cool down a little bit before you serve it so that the watermelon's not so hot. And you want to serve it at room temperature. This is the kind of food that's unexpected. You would never expect to have grilled watermelon. But it's really about surprising your guests with new and unusual tastes. And yet, there's nothing to this. It's quite simple and easy, and it just takes a few minutes. My rocket just goes on top. Just a few little pieces. A little drizzle of balsamic. And some black pepper to finish it off. And there you have it. Our grilled watermelon and feta salad with balsamic glaze. We're ready for the grand finale, a tropical fruit salad full of vibrant, beautiful colors. So what we're gonna do is assemble everything. For me, it's like the ending of a beautiful meal. We've already made a cranberry and pomegranate salad, a grilled watermelon and feta salad, some seared salmon with soba noodles, and to bring it all together, some delicious fresh fruit. What I love about a fruit salad, which makes it just a little bit different, is the way it's sliced. It sounds so silly, but actually slicing the fruit in a different way makes it look really beautiful. So we've got some strawberries. We're slicing them quite thin. So nothing's cut into cubes here. Nothing's cut into squares. We're having lovely, fresh slices. I've got lychees, pineapple, granadilla, kiwi, pomegranates, red and green grapes, blueberries, raspberries, gooseberries, nectarine and peaches. What more could you ask for? The colors themselves stand out. So in it go the gooseberries, the green grapes, red grapes, and the blueberries, raspberries, pomegranates, Lychee. Lychee always makes me think of tropical flavors. I seem to think it's Asian, but it's just tropical. It's beautiful. Granadillas and fresh granadillas give you such a lovely flavor to a fruit salad. We're so lucky in South Africa to have such beautiful fruit available to us. And whenever I travel and I look at the fruit and how expensive it is all over the world, our granadillas are not expensive at all. When you travel to Australia or America, first of all, they're not in such abundance. And second of all, they're just so expensive you can't even afford to use them. So we're slicing the kiwi into nice thin slices. And adding that. Some pineapple, a beautiful yellow. And again here, we're slicing it differently. So into tiny little thin slices, let's add that. And then I've got some beautiful dessert peaches. Now when you cut this fruit, you want to cut at an angle into the pip. So we're going to get beautiful flat semicircular slices. And that's just adding to the slices that we've already done. 
If mangoes are on season, you can add mangoes or melons. Be careful with watermelon though. It tends to have a lot of juice in it and it doesn't last that well in a fruit salad. So we're adding our peaches, nectarine, beautiful, fresh. And we're gonna cut that also, just in little thin slices. Now the problem with a fruit salad is that if you add big packets of everything, you'll end up with a really, really huge fruit salad. And for me, there's nothing nicer than a fruit salad that's made fresh. So I'd rather make one every day if necessary, because as long as it's fresh, it's got a totally different taste. So be careful that you don't add too much of anything. The last thing I'm going to add is a little bit of lime rind. It somehow just finishes the whole thing off. And we don't want the juice, just the rind. Now you'll notice that I haven't put any juice into this fruit salad, simply because all the fruits have their own juices. And if I add juice, I'm going to land up with far too much. And I like it just simple and plain on its own. Let's give it a toss. And we need to be quite gentle because the raspberries are very delicate. We don't want them to break too much. These gorgeous colors make you just want to jump into the bowl and eat the whole thing immediately. And in this beautiful glass dish, makes it look even more special. And there's nothing nicer and a very, very cold, chilled fruit salad. Jake! My son loves to come into the kitchen. There you have it, a beautiful tropical fruit salad, the finale to our casual party. It's almost time to let your hair down and have a party. The next time you invite your friends over, remember how quick and easy it is to prepare a meal just like this. We've made a seared salmon and soba noodle salad, a grilled watermelon and feta salad, a delicious cranberry and pomegranate salad, and to end it all, a beautiful tropical fruit salad. I hope you enjoyed the show and remember that entertaining can be simple yet stylish. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.